Ever notice your plants drooping, leaves curling, uh, maybe a strange sticky residue forming on the stems and leaves? If so, you might be dealing with a gardener's worst enemy, aphids. These tiny bugs can do a lot of damage and today we're going to be discussing the science of aphids. What are they? How do they invade your garden and most importantly, how to get rid of them? Aphids are very small, sap-sucking insects that come in all sorts of colors, from green to black, brown, gray, yellow, and even pink. Think of them as tiny mosquitoes for plants. They latch on, drink up the sap, and leave your plants weak and vulnerable and stressed. They are as harmful as they sound, but it's even worse than that. They're prolific. Here's a fact to hammer the point in. Female aphids can reproduce without males. It's called parthenogenesis or something like that, and it means virgin birth. In science speak, this means that aphid populations can explode almost overnight. If you spot one, you can bet that there are dozens if not hundreds nearby. Aphids can reproduce at an astonishing rate, giving birth to up to 80 offspring in a week. That's like having an army of pests swarming your garden before you even notice what hit you. How do these tiny pests get to your plants? Worse still, aphids can fly. They hop from plant to plant, garden to garden, plus they're masters of hitchhiking, sometimes catching a ride on your clothes or tools. Think of aphids as freeloaders. They travel by wind or even by your clothes and then they settle down and in invite all their friends for the feast. They're not just guests, they're invaders. And they're resilient. Aphids can survive the winter by laying eggs on a perennial plant or hiding in the soil. Come spring, they're back, ready to take over. So if you've had aphids this year, be prepared they're probably planning their next invasion. When aphids feed, they pierce the plant's tissue and suck out the sap, leaving the plant vulnerable. You'll see leaves curling, yellowing, and dropping off. Plus, they produce honeydew, a sticky substance that leads to black, sooty mold. This mold blocks sunlight and adds another layer of stress to your plants. So they're not just sucking the life out of your plants, they're also inviting disease. Why are these aphids so hard to get rid of? Aphids are tricky to control because they're small. They hide and they reproduce fast. They like to hang out underneath the leaves where you won't see them easily. And if they sense danger, sometimes they drop off and hide, only to come back later. By the time you spot a few, there's already an army. How do you control aphids in your garden? Here's the good news, you can fight back. Healthy plants can resist aphids better than sick ones, so make sure that your garden is well fed and watered. Try these methods to manage aphid populations. Natural predators. Ladybugs and lacewings love eating aphids. Release them into your garden and let nature take care of the rest. Neem oil. This is a natural insecticide that disrupts their life cycle, keeping their numbers down. Soapy water spray is also a good choice. Mix dish soap with water and spray it directly on the aphids and the whole plant. It breaks down the protective coating and boom, they're finished. Companion planting. Plants like marigolds and garlic can repel aphids. Plant them around and throughout the garden as a natural bodyguard. If you'd like to know more about companion planting, specifically marigolds, check out this video up here where I go in depth on how marigolds act to repel a lot of pests. So there you have it. Aphids may be small, they may be tiny, but they can cause big problems. Understanding how they operate and what makes them thrive can help you stop them in their tracks. Keep an eye on your plants and act fast if you spot these sneaky bugs. If this video has helped, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. They're both completely free and help the channel in a big way. Also, please share your own aphid busting tricks in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy gardening. Let's keep those plants healthy and aphid free. I'll catch you guys on the next one.